Hi guys, my name is Noshad and welcome to Learn LVC. This is our second part for the crude operation through AJAX using jQuery and JSON. So let's go, let's go ahead and uh, do the for the insertion code. So this is our create.cstml partial view, right? So here I'm just going to be call a script tag here and type JavaScript. Function here. Function save and right. That's it. And save employee. I need to call here in on click event. On click save employee. Now I'm just going to employ controller and create public action not action results. Just create a JSON result here. JSON result create and I decorate my action with using HTTP post activity. Here. I need to the post update now. HTTP post. That's it. I'm just creating the object of the dial dial new dial. And when I post a data, that time I need to the fill a uh, employee objects with the HTTP data. Okay. Underscore of that dot employees dot add. If you are new to entity framework, my suggestion is please go to my previous video and watch my previous video. After that, you can continue with this video. Dial dot save changes. Right. Return. A JSON employee and JSON request behavior allow get perfect right. Let's finish now. I'm just going to create dot CSS twenty five here. can see and the other things I'm just going to be my form and uh, here and pass the ID is equal to FRM and this is my form ID. If I copy this ID and here you can see I'm just declaring the variable employee details is equal to dollar Hash and pass the ID of the my form dot serialize. Now I serializing uh, my form data and pass to the object of employee details. This is a JSON serialization. After that, I'm using dollar dot post data and pass here employee slash the action name is this one create comma pass a data employee details right comma this is my functions of result this is the data so sorry that's it now here if data is equal to zero then 
I need to be lock. I need to be set location. Location is equal to the location and the pass and the same reference. Otherwise, okay. Otherwise, I need to be this. I need to be. Uh, when I call on add employee the new button that time they pop up the dialog right and I need to be feel that all data and when I click on save button that time they save a data in the table and dispose the dialog disable the dialog and show again the my collection of the employee details on the index view so that time I need to write some code here in the else condition for the displaying or index view right so for that i'm just doing one thing window dot location dot a replace and i'm passing a url here for the temporary after that we will do with the lazy loading uh, employee index that's it you see Save the applications and uh, you can put here one debugger so it's very easy to understand and one another debugger is here right just save and run the application and that's it out is loading add new employee you can see here I'm passing no I'm not above just click on save you can see they hit on the debug mode the employee details you can see in the employee details data and uh, if you want to see, you can see employee name Nosha and employee at the end of the world and the salary is 23,000, right? So, I'm just doing the again, again, 20, and you can see they hit on create action, and I'm just going to the underscore O employee objects, and you can see uh, my data is there. Ahmedabad, Nashar, and they automatically fill property right with using a model binding here. Then, then save changes. Now return a JSON data. And they will not a uh, populated data here because you can see I just refresh the data. You can see when I manually reload the my page, that time they will display a data, right? But with the coding, they won't. So we will check where is the error is there actually. So I'm just going to create or CSTML file and do one thing. I'm just putting the debugger here also. So it's very easy to catch the error. Where is the actually problem is there? And I hope the my index one is same. Index okay. Window dot location dot replace this all is things. I'm fine. Okay. So now run the game and let's check where is the error actually. Index. It is loading. If you want to click on it, you can click on it. New employee.
continue in our Yashi shop code we add object of the collections now we are in default mode you can see now we try to location the replace Again, not loading the data. Uh, maybe the problem in a date and frame of cycle. So, okay. So, let's do one thing. Let's check here. And uh, just pass the validation format. Uh, JSON. on application and check what is the problem actually index loading the data Again, is not loading data. Oops, there is some technical issue. Is there maybe? Square application. Um, we have some issue. Is there? I apologize for that. Uh, I'm making some couple of changes here. Do one thing. I'm just copy that save employee functions. Just cut that function and just go to the index or CSS and paste here and. Uh, make one another changes here when the data inserted successfully after that here I am updating the table again so I am just copying this one my I am finding the id of table here after that mm, Just copy this line and paste here. And I remove only this one data. You can see, and this is a data. It's coming on data objects. Just paste, paste, and paste. That's it. You can see. And after that, I need to hide my model, my pop-up. So for that, hash and the model name is my model employee. The model hide. That's it. The save and run the application and let's see. Before the running the application. see in our SQL server our last data is Martin right and we have already populated on the index view so there is no issue actually there is a big point the loading the data and you can add new employee Martin Dickrose Just click on save. Uh, there is a big point. Just continue, continue. You can see here. So data is inserted successfully, right? So this is an insert operation with using 
you throw a ajax using the jquery and a json and you can see i remove the javascript code from the create.cshtml file and uh, i will paste in the index.cshtml file and uh, it's very easy whenever required to uh, get a data that time you need to be the call dollar dot get and whenever you require to post a data that time you need to be the call a method dollar dot post after that you can pass action name here after that you can pass data whatever you whatever you want to post a data right so i am sending a employee details and in the employee details there is a relations data of the my form after that when they are call a create method and they will set a result in the data objects set a result in the data object after that i am checking here the data result data result is zero maybe there is some issues there if data result is not equal to zero that means the data is inserted successfully so that time i am i'm doing one thing i'm just creating table name variable and i store the id of the table employee inside the table name variable after that i am just create again table data variable and inside that i am creating a html row and uh, append that row inside the table name after that i am hiding a model that's it so let's remove all debugger debug delete all breakpoints and run the application add new employee right just to come see you can see how smooth the data is edited in the micro right this is a asynchronous method i'm calling with i'm calling with all my actions with asynchronous right with using jquery and json so it's very lightweight and in this video we have done how to insert a data with using jquery and json so in the next video we are complete a crude operation the pending is update and delete so we see how to do the update and delete with using ajax in asp.net mvc thanks for the watching this video